Yeah, I know we don't have any audio. Hey guys, <clears throat> it is me again, as you can see. Let's see what today is. I tried to make a big mess here. Uh, today's Friday the 13th. I remember Friday, May 13th. Day 133 on our project survey and more. So, uh, everybody's having a good night tonight. Um, Hope everybody's having, but I'll tell you guys, the weather has went crazy, ain't it? I mean, you can tell we're living in the last days. Um, the weather's just, excuse me, insane. You know, I've never seen such a rainy spring. I mean, I've seen them close, but I mean, it's just raining and thundering and, you know, thunderstorms every day. And uh, according to what I heard this evening, next week, we've been 80s this week every day. Next week, they're saying that we could be high of 60s. I don't know. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. But anyway, I hope y'all doing all right tonight. Uh, we'll try to make this video shorter, guys. I'm, I'm late getting getting in. Um, I've actually went this evening. You know, I told you guys for a little bit that I was going, that I was buying a toolbox off one of my friends. Um, and... We've been trying to find the right time to go get it. Well, we went and got it this evening. Uh, he didn't have. To, he took off a day of work, uh, so we went to his his work and picked it up. And uh, so uh, we were gone probably I don't know three hours right at it. Uh, loaded it with a forklift and we got it. We got it here and kind of, you know, kind of hit us. Okay, now how are we going to unload it here? You know. Uh, the top wasn't too bad. We unloaded it by hand. Well, we unloaded the bottom by hand too, but um, it, it was a lot heavier. Uh, had to get Dad to come help us, and it actually got up against Dad's shoulder there and kind of rubbed him a little bit, kind of scraped him, and I felt you know horrible for that doing that afterwards. Um, we didn't know any way to get it out. We just brooded it out. And it, it, I thought it was going to kill all three of us, but. Um, Maybe before the weekend's over, guys, I'll try to get you guys. I'm going to make some kind of other video, and maybe I'll show you the box. Uh, I like it. I mean, I think I don't need it. I mean, I don't have near enough tools here. As the, I mean, I've got a little small Craftsman box, uh, you know, probably this wide and six feet tall or something. Uh, and I don't have enough tools to fill, fill it up, let alone, you know, a box of this magnitude. But. You know, it was a good deal. He needed to sell it. Needed to, well, I didn't need the money, but, you know, wanted to get rid of it. Uh, it's a good deal. He let me pay him on payments. So, I'll, I'll, I'll try to get a video tomorrow, maybe. Tomorrow Sunday one. I'll try to do it tomorrow. Uh, I've cleaned up on it a little bit, so. Maybe get you a vid uh, showing it. But, yeah, guys, uh, I guess let's get into the important part tonight, as of course God's Word. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to make this video short. I did get to draw a payday today, so praise the Lord for that. Uh, and I guess let's go ahead and start, guys. Luke chapter 14, verse 8. When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, now this is Jesus telling the parable. When thou art bidden, excuse me, let me start again. When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, Sit not down in the highest room, lest a more honorable man than thou be hidden, be bidden of him. This this old English, I tell you guys, it's hard to read. And he that bade thee and come, and him come to say to thee, Give this man place, and thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. But when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room, that when he that bade thee cometh, he may say unto thee, Friend, go up higher. Then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that said it meet with thee. Jesus is saying, well, I'll finish reading it. For whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Basically what he just said. You know, Jesus is saying, don't, don't put yourself in these high, high and mighty positions. Be humble, and if men... Because you're such a good person or, or whatever the case may be. If other people pick you up and put you there, then that's okay. If you deserve it, but not to do it yourself. For whoever exalteth himself shall be abased. I done read that. 
and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Then he also, then said he also to him that bade him, like I said, guys, sometimes it's old English, man, it's a killer to read. When thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friends, nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor thy rich neighbors, lest they also bid thee again, and a recompense be made thee. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee. For thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. Jesus is saying, I mean, self-explanatory, he's saying, you know, feed the poor, do these things like if you're going to have a big feast, a big meal. Invite the poor people and the people that can't pay you back. He's saying if you invite your neighbors and your friends and people that are wealthy, you know, maybe same class as you, they can pay you back. I mean, not literally, maybe literally, you know, pay, but, you know, they'll do something for you someday. They'll cook for you like you've cooked for them, or they'll pay you back one way or the other. He's saying, do something for somebody that cannot pay you back no matter what. You know, in no way they can pay you back. Do something for them. Then your reward is going to be at the resurrection of the just, he's saying. And when one of them that sat at meat with him heard these things, he said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then he said unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many. And sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray that they have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray you have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. I don't know, guys. I was going to try to read all this this uh, parable, but I just don't think I can. Yeah, I guess I can. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed, and the halt, and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. And there went great multitudes with him, and he turned, and said unto them, If any man come to me, and hate not his father, and mother, and wife, and children, and brethren, and sisters. Yea, in his own life also he cannot be my disciple. Anyway, guys, I have to stop right there. We've, we went like, that's like, I don't know. That's a lot. I don't know how many verses we went, but I went way over. Uh, <laughs> it's like 16 verses or something I did, or 17. We'll continue tomorrow with some good, more good stuff from the Lord. Um. Simple explanatory stuff there, guys. You know, and we all do that to an extent. You know, we put other people and things in front of the Lord, you know. But And I do, I pray about that. I say, Lord, every day show me and help me not to do that. Help me not to put the things of this world and my family and my business and these other things that I still have to have and need. Help me, Lord, not to put them in front of you. So anyway, guys, I'm glad you were here tonight. Uh, I'm not going to. The Lord's just not putting it on me to pray tonight. Plus, this video is running long. Um, I'll pray when I get done. I just want to ask you guys to pray. Uh, pray for me, my family, my business, my church, more, most importantly. Uh, pray for the woman I told you about the other day. She's in a financial need uh, that the government's trying to destroy her. Um, just pray for all those things. Um, and... Uh, if you guys need anything, let me know, as always, guys. So, uh, good Lord willing, tomorrow night I'll be back here. So, till I see you guys again, good night and God bless.